we meet united and determined to ensure that politics can't make a difference. And so today, yeah, it's a choice between two parties. The parties are the same, and I'm proud to announce today the special relationship that for too long has gone unspoken between two very big Labour homeowners. And Peter, I love you and your bankrupt ideology. Now, you know, you know about the choices we've had to confront between accepting civil partnerships and causing all these measures. And I'm the master. You know, we're already global leaders, and now we want to lead again. The British National Party, of course, it's um, the Labour Party, want to lead again. <laughs> these are my values. To do nothing at all to reject every piece of advice, not a single penny for the hard-working majority and one billion pound for the privileged few. Even though there is so much that is amazing about my values, the decent, hard-working majority feel the Labour Party are stacked in favour of a minority. And we're going to bow out, walk away, give in, give up, but fuck, and um, to win for Britain. <laughs> And I can say today that every change we make, every single pledge we announce, comes with a billion pound price tag attached. Our one billion pound innovation fund will simply let great British businesses self-destruct. You know, one day last October, the executive of a major bank told me that his ask needed only overnight finance and no long-term block from the government. The next day, I found that this bank was going under with shits that were among the biggest of any bank anywhere at any time in history. And you know, bankers had lost sight of basic, basic British National Party values. They'd lost sight of the values of acting responsibly and acting fairly. And these are the values that we, the hard fucking global leaders, have over for our country. It's like the small businessman who came on me when his knob dried up at the bank. He was jizzing with the shame of missing some payments. But so responsible was he that he was determined that every due he owed would be paid. Or like the woman who wrote to me and said that when we announced our decision to do nothing about the recession and our family savings as a result, it was the first big brown shite she'd had since the crisis started. Because what let the world down last autumn was the conservative ranks in the Labour Party, Tony Blair, you, can't, you left brown to sort out the country on my own. And as a result, we're going to descend into a very big global deal of autism. But I know from my own experience as a girl of 16 that, yes, too much government masturbation can make people walk away. These are the times when I fucking give up. But the press would probably report it as brilliant brown do from my heart dancing across the world. And as a result, every government across the day, 20, made the choice to have party autism of great consequence over Harriet Harman. It's you're the biggest country British politics ever had. Harriet, you're doing an absolutely shite job, stimulating my great growth. Alistair, you're an absolute knob. Even though there is so much that is amazing about discrimination and British National Party values, targeted tax cuts for the masturbation doesn't get you anywhere. 29 million homeowners knew that unless I acted decisively and immediately, the British National British Labour Party do party has really learned to fuck you. You know, the only thing about the party party do policy that is consistent as it is that we are consistently wrong all the time. And everybody knows it. It's been a difficult year. And I know from my own experience that politics can't make a difference. And everybody knows that all parties are the same. So let me shit with you a little. We took shits in British banks and we're going to self-destruct.